Let's Talk Babies, gaming show for the average Joe and far beyond. I'm your host, the Gutter Cat, and with me today is a very special guest, the Breath of the Wild himself, Mr. Geo Dude. Hello. All right, and this is Super Stock Babies Turbo. What does that mean exactly? That means this is our EA E3 podcast. It's gonna well, it's not necessarily EA. This portion is EA, but it's not EA. It's E3. Okay, don't get those confused because you know it just gets it really confusing. <laughs> anyway, though, let's go. So we're gonna start off our E3 coverage, which. It's going to be broken up into multiple videos for you guys to watch or into one big video. So, you know, uh, excuse all the pauses and all that stuff because you guys will like that. All right. We're starting off today's E3 coverage with the EA press conference or as EA likes to call it, EA Play. Yeah, you know, very original, right? All right, the first game, the, and, you know, we're going to start off with the trailer, like talk about the trailers, break them down, see what we saw, you know what I mean? All right. Yeah, I want to I wanna talk about those games that EA showed. Yeah, they're like, uh, how I say, it's EA. We all know EA is the big corporate of uh, video gaming, you know, the video game industry. It's like, it's all, it's all like for the money, more or less. And we'll, when you see it, we'll, we'll talk about it, you know? Let's introduce the first game. What do we got here? We got Battlefield 5. Battlefield 5, boom. It's like, you know, every game is obsessed with that big ass V. Like, you know, ever seen Armored Core V. Um, Street Fighter V, actually, that's not a real thing. Oh, yeah, that is a real thing. Street Fighter V, 5, you know what I mean. Metal Gear Solid V. Yeah, everybody loves that V. I don't know what's up with that. It's like, I don't know. Big old Vs. Come back in a big new way. Big V. Everybody loves the 5. Ah, but yeah, guess what? It doesn't take place in World War 5. You know, what, what does it take place in? World War 2. Of course. The best time in all of American history. Where all our brothers fought for... Oh, wait, that was a terrible time. That's yeah, that wasn't a great time. No. I think everybody was hurting. That was, that was bad. That was bad. So it was a world war. That's, that's a, well, you know, okay, so this is Battlefield Five taking place in World War II. I mean, it's it's the basic well, Battlefield thing, you know? Like, if you played any other Battlefield, you know, it's all about destruction mm-hmm. and mayhem. That's right. Uh, shooting. Yeah, but exactly. Shooting. Shoot them airplanes. Fire those airplanes. Fall out of them airplanes. Fall into a building. Crush the building. You're the Incredible Hulk. It's amazing. <laughs> but, uh, but this time they added some new things, you know? You know, they added kind of new things. Like, um... Some customizations. Yeah, quick customizations. It's all about... You know, now you could be a woman. It, you know, I mean, there were women in the field. There are women in the field now. I salute all you women in the field. Thank you for your causes, whatnot. But now you can actually be in a battlefield game, because you know, not everybody is a man in this battlefieldish man game. But <laughs> you know, that's uh, you know, it, with, with robotic arms and that, that wasn't in World War Two. Yeah, no, I thought it was going to take place in like a in a steampunk yeah. fantasy setting. Yeah. But uh, no, it's World War Two. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know why the, the trailer showed off like this little um, this thing. She had like a robotic arm or something like that. I mean, she's not like some Yoshimitsu ass. I don't know. Right. Right. No. Okay. So anyway, speaking of that, besides customization as a woman, there's an actual story mode that actually has uh, that centers around a woman in during that time period. Uh, based off the name, she's like German. I think it was like somebody. Yeah, I think they were speaking a different language. Yeah, they were speaking a different language in the trailer, you know. So we saw, we saw like, I mean, Battlefield. It's a good, it's a cute, it's a, it's a cute game. It's a freaking amazing graphic game. I mean, you know, they even said things like the destructions on a higher level now. You could jump out of windows. I didn't know you couldn't do that in the original. Glass shatters. Yeah, glass shatters. Boom. I imagine all that sugar glass. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but then, all right, and then, oh, of course, I called this on many podcasts ago. The beginning of the end, the battle royale mode. Battle royale, they included it. Yep, battle royale mode, of course. And as I said, every major game, I bet you when we get up to um, Activision or something, we're gonna hear that Call of Duty is gonna have battle royale mode. Uh, <laughs> and that all came from what the EPUB, the E. Yeah, it, was that, it the Pugs, PUBG actually. It's a PUBG player unknown battleground. If you want to be, if you want to be technical about it, they started. Uh, they started this whole. Uh, they started this whole battle royale mode kind of thing, but of course there's smaller publisher. I mean, it was a matter of time before like the bigger publisher got their hands on it, and they're gonna make it better. I guarantee it. I mean, of course, you know the lawyers are gonna tell you no, it's a bull, it's a, you know. And again, it's EA. They're corporate. That's what they do. Right. They take something, they they, they make you love it, and then they destroy it in front of your eyes. You know. <laughs> Like Star Wars. Like Star Wars. Let's get to Star Wars, actually. All right? So, you know, real quickly, I mean, like, 
that this was later on in the in the conference, but we'll get to it now. All right, so we had uh, Andrea Renee. She's actually pretty hot. I mean, like, I'm not going to say it. You know, I, you got to say it. You got to shout out to Andrea Renee. All right. Um, but she interviewed this one dude. Uh, he's actually the the one of the designers from Respawn. If you don't know Respawn, dude, it's like... Respawn is the company that did um, Titanfall. You know, Titanfall. You've seen Titanfall? Yeah, yeah, I've seen that one. Alright, Titanfall, so Respawn's the guys who did that. You know, they were bought by, by EA just recently, so, you know, they, they put them to work on this thing. And the title, uh, according to him, the title is Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. So, in that order. In that order. Yeah, it's <laughs> Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, not Jedi Order Fallen or Fallen Jedi Order. It's <laughs> Jedi Fallen Order. So, you know, it's not the first order. It's not episode seven. Let's not get that mixed up here. It's Fallen Order. Fallen Order. It's fa- fa- and then, like, the dude just rambled on about stuff. You know, just like, I mean, you could tell he was, like, caught off on the spot. You know, he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, we're doing this game, I guess. <laughs> no, I mean, that or he was high. He kind of looked high. It's like when you, when you saw the video. It was, it was put on the spot. He didn't know what to say. So, it's, it's like, yes, it, we have a game. It's, it's all uh, like, true. It's just called Jedi secret. Fall uh, in order. It's, it's a secret. Stop bugging me. Get that camera off me. No. Anyway, <laughs> so we go up to the actual stage and we they start talking about Battlefront 2. All right. Battlefront 2, as you know, has been on its shaking ground. Um, for all you who don't know, Battlefront 2 is the sequel to the remake of Star Wars Battlefront from the PlayStation 2 era. All right. So this Battlefront 2, let me fill you in on what's been happening with that. They released a game. They put microtransaction left and right on that thing. Oh wow! So say you wanted to say you want to play as uh, Luke Skywalker, uh-uh, but he's gonna cost you like five dollars pretty much to play as him. I can't play my Luke Skywalker. Nah, uh-uh, you can't play your Luke Skywalker. It don't, it don't matter which Luke Skywalker. How you much know? do I have to pay to get my Luke Skywalker? You gotta play pay a lot. Of, you gotta pay a lot to play your Luke Skywalkers. Well, that's ridiculous. Well, it's not the only Skywalker that costs a lot. What you about my Anakin? Can I play? Yeah, as you Anakin? can't. You can't play as Anakin actually. Well, oh, wait. Not until now. They just announced episode two stuff. You know, that era of Star Wars that everybody loves. Yes, with Jango Fett. Yeah. And Jar Jar Binks. And Jar Jar Binks. Oh, that's going to be the shit. I will rebuy. I will buy that game if I could play as Jar Jar Binks. How about Mace Windu? No. Can I play as Mace Windu? You can't play as Mace Windu. Oh. Maybe you can. They said Count Dooku. They said Anakin Skywalker. They said Obi-Wan Kenobi. Why can't we play as Mace Windu? Give us Mace Windu. Yes. I, wanna, I just want to say stuff on, on the microphones like, get these motherfucking droids off my motherfucking plane. <laughs> Even though we'll probably be like on like the ground stage or something. Anyway, something like that. Um, but yeah, they said Star Wars Episode 2 stuff is coming. At the current moment, they just released Solo stuff. You know, that movie that just came out from Star Wars that... Uh, that, that, that didn't do so well. Oh, yeah, it's not doing too well in, uh, on the bank. Mm, yeah. Nah, on the box you know, offices. You know, it's, it's, it's Han Solo. Yeah. Hey, everybody wants to be Han Solo. Especially some guy that doesn't look like him. <laughs> it's like Han Solo cosplay in a Han Solo freaking movie. Now in a game that you get to play as a Han Solo game. Can I play Solo? Can I play as Solo? You, you can play Solo as Han Solo, but you probably won't do very well online because, you know, team-based. Well, actually, I don't even think it's team-based. So, I don't know. I guess. <laughs> anyway, so aside from that, Episode 2 stuff, Episode 3 stuff coming. They said Clone Wars, so it's Episode 2, Episode 3. You know, I want to play as the Boobas. I want the Boobas. Give me freaking Jar Jar Bink. <laughs> All right. Let's go backwards a little bit and go back into, like, the, the trailer for FIFA 19. It's the beautiful game. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's the beautiful game, as Pele said, like, last year when they brought out Pele. This year, they didn't bring out Pele. They just brought out some Norwegian lady, Icelandic lady, I should say, and a, tr- and a trophy. And um, it's FIFA. Oh, yeah. They said, oh, yeah. The, look at our trophy. This is our game. It's, it's, it's FIFA. It's nice. You want to play? Here's a free trial. It's like, if you, if you play the last ones, you'll play this one. You, you, you'll, like, you'll like FIFA. FIFA's fun. It's, 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 it's adorable. It's like, you know, you can, you can headbutt people. No, you can't. That's actually bad. That, you'll get a red card for that. I think it, red card's bad, right? It, yeah, disqualification. Disqualification. Let's not headbutt people now. Don't headbutt, headbutt the, the referee. Headbutt the ball. Yes, headbutt, headbutt the, the ball. You're not Zidane. Can you play as Zidane? Is he still a player? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. I don't watch the football. All right. Speaking of the football, <laughs> there is actually a football game and a basketball game coming out. And EA decided to do this the best possible way by bringing out some kid who won the football championship and do a cringeworthy skit thing where the guy was talking to him and uh, 
Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he was some kind of online gamer. He yeah, won the championship yeah. of the, the, the football game. And like every online gamer on spot, he looked very awkward. Like, uh... What am I doing here? Right, right. Like, uh, no stage presence. Uh, yeah, no stage presence. His rival tried to take his title from him. He's like, ah, ah, we're doing a little skit here. Uh, no, you right. can't have it. Have it. Um, I had no idea what it had nothing to do with. It had anything to do with. Um, I guess they're just showing that, hey, we do competitions with our games, I guess. I don't know. Because it didn't feel like they were promoting the, the game. They were promoting the guy. He came out like a wrestler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He yeah, had yeah, the belt yeah, on his belt, shoulder. Belt, exactly. But he He's didn't like, have the charisma. He just kind of stood just, there. Yeah, exactly. It was just like, mm -hmm, you know. It's, and then they showed the game. It's um, NBA. NBA Live. It's not 2K. 2K is the good one. You know, NBA Live, EA, and uh, football. You know, sweaty men. Football. It looks right. surreal. But then there's a point where it starts looking more game than real, because in real life, shadows don't shadow that way. Oh, yeah, you like, get the unca uncanny valley. Yeah, yeah, you get weird. Yeah, exactly, uncanny valley. That's, just, that's a good one. That's a good, that's a good talk. All right, uh, yeah, I know we're just going, going through this because we're trying to kind of go through these uh, conferences real fast because in the total, there's going to be like maybe a two-and-a-half-hour freaking show either way. But this FIFA one, this EA one, is only going to be like 20 minutes, hopefully. <laughs> All right, but, uh, you know, so we'll get through the real quick stuff. Um, Origin Access, you know, um, it's EA Access, what the Xbox has had for a while. Now on everything. At least it's not here yet, but... Is that like a streaming service? It's their streaming service. You know, Origin is, is EA's, uh, is EA's uh, Steam. You could buy all EA games on Origin. Oh, so, wow. So, you know, and now they're saying Access, you know, so you could buy it, stream it. You know, rent the game, more or less rent them or something like that, and uh, play it on everything. You know, on your phone, on your laptop, on your Xbox. You could already do it on your Xbox, but hey, fuck it, you can do it there too. That's a lot of multi platforms. Multi platforms, unlike a certain other company who doesn't like to go multi platform, Sony, we still love you though. You did, you did a great conference. We'll talk about that later. But you know, you know, Fortnite's just not happy with you. Eh, I don't care. I don't play Fortnite. All right. <laughs> uh, then you guys are gonna hate me. I mean, all the audience members are like, "What did you play Fortnite?" Because I don't want to play Fortnite. Okay. Okay. Let's let's get into some of the uh, games that aren't well known, but were probably the highlight of the whole thing. All right. We're gonna start off with Unravel 2. All right. Unravel 2 is a sequel to Unraveled, which was uh, announced last year. This dude who was incredibly, like, freaking nervous last year, he got on stage, he's like, uh, this isn't my game, this is my, my little yarn guy. <laughs> and everybody clapped for him. Everybody gave him a big clap because you're like, good job, guy. Good job, you promoted your game. Oh, he did it. He did it. This year, guess what? He did it again. Oh, wow. All right. Get I just threw up stage. hands. <laughs> yeah, he ran on stage. He was like, oh, do I want to race? He's like, kind of like, oh, go on. You can announce your game. Go on. And now then he was talking about how it's this platformer. It's it's nice. It's, it was the, the light in the darkness that is the EA conference, you know? Yeah. And, you know, it, this time it's multiplayer. So, you know, multi-yardies, multi-yardies. It's, it's team-based, too, so it's kind of like, hey, look, there's a can, and there's a giant bird trying to eat my face. Hey, other yarny, push the can to distract the chicken, and it won't eat my face. <laughs> right, right. Like, you can probably use one to leverage the other and they're it, connected by that, exactly that by a little string exactly it's it's a door it's adorable it's good looking you look like two yarn characters running around it's amazing i'm liking it i want to get it when it comes out maybe i don't know i don't have an xbox all right <laughs> then we go out to see a solitude this game looked fucking amazing wow yeah this one looked really good it was like it was like it was all like trippy animation and like it, it, you know, like the art style. I mean, how would you describe the art style? Oh, the art style kind of had like a comic vibe. Like it. it yeah, you know. it's like the cell shades and the paint. It's like it was like a living comic book, but and it, it seemed like a platformer. It looks freaking trippy as fuck. I mean, shadow people and things like that. You know, you know, like uh, you know, how could I explain it? Like, like what uh, like what 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 you see? I mean, like what you saw in that trailer? You know? I don't know. It it, it had like a good vibe. Um, like not exactly Kingdom Hearts, but something yeah kind of dark. Yeah, it's all like darkness, dark, depression, darkness, but not yeah. not in the darkness that is freaking Kingdom Hearts, but darkness kind of like a the character. It looked good. It looked like a character driven kind of uh, story. You know? Yeah. Uh, all right, you know, and then, you know, after that, you know, you got your little, um, you got, back then, like I said, you had your, your NBAs and your Maddens. That was, uh, that was all right. Then we got into, like, maybe another cringeworthy segment. This was uh, Command & Conquer Rivals. Um, it was a mobile game. On the phone? It was on the phone. It's Command & Conquer. Okay, I feel for you guys, you old PC gentlemen who played Command & Conquer on the PCs back then. They were such amazing games, Tiberian Wars, you know, those... 
freaking such great cinematics. You won't find that here. Oh no. No, it's just just mobile. Just so like just, I gotta download it off the Google Store. You get it downloaded off the Google Store, you oh. know. And, and and you know you know it's it's an RTS. You know you pick your soldiers, you get on the base, take over the base, make the missile come out and shoot your friends. Hmm. Sounds fun, right? Yeah, it's something you play while you're just sitting around waiting for the yeah, DMV. Right. Yeah, right? I'm playing it right now, actually. Let me just... Tiberium Wars... Oh, wait, that's not Tiberium Wars. It's Con Grand Conquer Rivals. I don't even know if it was out yet. I wasn't... I was, that's how out of it I was with this. I mean, and then they... they what well, I mean by cringeworthy, they brought out two pros again. We had, like, one with the name Nick at Night because, you know... <laughs> clever gamers. <laughs> clever gamers. Uh, guess what? I'm from the 90s. How can you tell? You know? <laughs> And that guy probably like fucking 22 and shit. All right, um, no, but like, yeah, they were playing that. They were like Command and Conquer. Uh, it was like the most simplest thing. I'd rather play Advance Wars on my Game Boy Advance. Oh wow, that's a bold statement. Have you ever played Advance Wars? No. Oh. <laughs> well, you're, you're missing out on a very good game. Well, I'm gonna have to try it out. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Game Boy Advance. You know, I'm pretty sure that's Game all. Game Boy Advance. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can get that on your phone as well. <laughs> Oh, it's okay. better than getting Command and Conquer Rivals. So I can get an emulator, or do I have to get a yeah, Game Boy Advance? I'm, I'm pretty sure you can get an emulator. We don't condone the act of getting emulators or screwing over Nintendo for their games. Buy their games when they release them so that we may get new Advance Wars. Yes. Is that, is that, is that right? Okay. okay. Yeah. Sponsor okay. them. Okay, but, but it's, you know, it's kind of like, yeah, just get a Game Boy Advance emulator. Yeah. Advance Wars. It'll be, it'll be it's great. <laughs> anyway, uh, and then, you know, back, and then, you know, thinking of, you know, copycats and all that stuff, we're going to, we end the EA segment with Anthem, right? Anthem looks like a lot of things. Looks like, it looks kind of familiar, kind of mm, similar very, to something. Very, very, very familiar. You know, it's a, uh, you know, it's a, uh, how, how can I explain this? You know, you get class-based, multiplayer, um, missions, raids, sounds very familiar. Multiplayer. Missions, mm. raids, you know. It sounds almost like Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> that's exactly it. No, yeah, that's it. No, it's actually more reminiscent of Destiny. Destiny, yeah. Destiny, Destiny Destiny, too. you know, you know that game that's out right now that people are mad about because there isn't that much stuff to do left because they beat it in like 20 minutes because they're freaking crazy ass people who have no time in their life to play any other game besides Destiny and beat all the game in like 20 hours. I can't even get past the first stage in like 20 hours because I'm that bored. <laughs> you know, I mean, I mean the game's great. I, I, I love me some Destiny. I, love, I mean, like, I like the first one. Destiny 2, I didn't even get a chance to play, I guess. Right, they just need yeah, to give yeah, they, them more know, content. More content, I guess. But imagine when this game comes out, shh, how many people will beat it in seconds? It's also kind of like a weird cousin of Mass Effect. You know, Mass Effect, right. Mass Effect Andromeda came and, you know, went like a, like a dry turd. <laughs> it, like, nobody liked it. It was terrible. Okay, it was, it was terrible. A, the graphics, right? Yeah, graphics. It was everything. It was Animation. just like, it's African, you know, Mass Effect Andromeda. Right, you would know, you say nothing. that this would be the... This is the true Mass Effect, more or less. Right. And by EA, it has to be. You know, this is where all the money went. That's probably where the system, the, 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 the freaking group of people who made that game probably went to do this. You know, because... It looks like freaking Mass Effect. Character life bars. Points coming out when you shoot them. But the good thing is it looks like you can fuck a lot of shit up. Explosions everywhere. Oh, yeah, the jetpacks and, like, you the can fly. going underwater. Yeah, that looks nice. That game, the game looks beautiful. It looks oh, amazing. Yeah. It looks, you know, the water segments, the things like that. And, you know, explosions everywhere. Fuck that combo. Combo. Combo breaker. Combo breaker. That's probably what happens when it happens when you get hit. <laughs> like, oh, that, that would be amazing. I'd buy it. For that. And the big thing about it, though, is that there's class. It's class based. You know, so, like, again, like Destiny, you got your wizard, you got your fast dude, you got your big, bulky Hulk man. Big brutes. And then you got, like, your basic guy. But, like, you know, so that looks cool, you know. Everything about EA seems to be about customization. That's all they kept talking about, like, customization. Customize this, customize that. Right. You know, on this game, too, customize, customize. Because we all know you like to look unique in this world where you look unique because, you know, you're unique. You're a unique little flower in life, you know. <laughs> That's, and that wrapped up about EA's conference right now. I mean, like, there's not much to say else about it. I mean, you know, no Pele this time. No Pele? No Pele. Why you not? Because they, they messed up. They, they messed up. They, they don't got Pele points no more. Oh. You know, unfortunately. But, um, you know, 
Um, we're going to continue our EA, our EA breakdown. Actually, not our EA, our, our EA. E3, our E3. I got to stop doing that. Stop confusing <laughs> me with the EAs and E3s. I'm done. I'm done. I'm so glad I'm over EA. I'm so glad. Because I don't have to do e, e, EA and E3 no more. It's just e, E3. Just E3. E3. We'll That's continue right. the E3 conference coverages after this. You know, you know, we're going to take a quick break. Maybe not a quick break. I don't know. If, if you're listening to this as a one whole stream, you'll probably just go on to like something else. And it'll probably break up like real quick. Like, uh, uh. Hey there, babies. Gutter Cat here. If you're hearing this, that means that you're probably watching these episodes in an uh, episodic style format. And uh, you're probably just finished with one of our E3 coverages. If that's the case, go ahead and click one of the icons around the screen and go on to the next one. Or if you're in, the, in one and you want to go back, you know, click on the, the one that goes back, you know. And if it's the end of the video, well, you know, you could always just in, listen to it again because we're like that. <laughs> All right. 